Alexa Gulbe is just the third ever Hoosier from Latvia. She was recruited by assistant coach Rhett Wiersba at the FIBA World Championships in Spain. Through early February, Gulbe has appeared in 22 games, averaging 6.5 points and 4 rebounds per game. I had a chance to sit down with both Alexa and Rhett to talk about her journey to Indiana and the adjustments to basketball in the States. Yeah, so you, you kind of have an interesting story. You're only the third player to play for IU from Latvia. I know you had Coach Rhett Wiersba come out and look at you. Kind of talk about that experience and what it was like to kind of get someone from IU out there at the FIBA World Championships to watch you play. That's a big event and a lot of coaches come to World Championships to look future players, to look for talents and um, Coach Rhett was one of them and after the World Championship was over uh, he contacted me and you know introduced me, introduced himself, um, told me a little bit about in IU. You know, I went over there, flew over there and met with uh, you know, her and her mom and her dad and her sister. Um, I had good meeting with them of talking about what her opportunity would be here where we saw her you know, as a player, um, but also academically and, and how we would you know, try to make her transition as easily as possible. And, um, so that went smoothly and then uh, we were able to get her and her mom to come over for an official visit um, and visit campus and, and kind of get, get the feel of this is what you know, life at Indiana would be like. She said she took you out to a good Latvian dinner? We did. Uh, we went to a restaurant and um, it was, you know, I, I had to get some help on what to order. Uh, everything was in Latvian, so I, was, I had to trust uh, her was and mom and dad. It was very good. It was kind of like an Italian Latvian uh, meal, so it was like I had pasta with some shrimp and it was really good. Did you have any any cr weird encounters in, while you were in Latvia, while you were in Spain, just the fun stories or anything while you were over there? So when I was in Latvia, one of the things I love to do when I'm on the road recruiting, whether it is you know, domestically, internationally, is I kind of do my tours, I go for a run. And so I had texted Lexus, hey, what do I need to see while I'm out here? So she sent me a list of like eight things to go see. And little did I know that this eight things were gonna take me six miles to go come. <laughs> I was hoping for about like a two and a half to three mile run, and it turned into a, about a five to six mile run throughout Riga. Uh, but I was able to see, you know, a variety of different things and, you know, took pictures of it. So it kind of made a, a pretty cool trip there. So what, what's been, obviously there's a cultural adjustment moving to the States. What's been the biggest adjustment basketball-wise? For me, it's the foul, fouls. And uh, in Europe, I would say the basketball is more physical. And also, refs don't call each touch. <laughs> But yeah, uh, that's, that must be the biggest adjustment. I appreciate that coaches pay a lot of attention to conditioning, conditioning and weight. In Europe, it's mostly the basketball part. Probably the biggest thing for her is her continuing to be aggressive and attacking. Um, early, I mean, she tried to settle, you know, and she would be settling because she's a really good shooter. Um, but she would kind of, when she would hit contact, she would stop. Um, now she's starting to play through the contact a little bit more and g going all the way to the rim as opposed to settling for jumpers. She's getting to the rim. You, you saw last game, you know, she got an and one um, on a post move and trying to get her feeling more comfortable posting up, being able to use her touch and her size and her athleticism. Has there been any teammate, maybe an assistant coach or something that's kind of helped you along the way more than? Maybe some others, an influential player that's helped you with this adjustment? Everybody. Everybody gives some advices, what to do, what not to do. Um, I don't know, there are some days that I feel like, why am I doing this? <laughs> but um, my teammates just remind me, and re like every day each of us remind each other that we're all in this together and we're going through all of this together as a team and it just makes like everything much easier what's been let's go outside of basketball what's when you got here what was one thing that maybe surprised you about the states in general that maybe you weren't expecting i was expecting good food and 
especially pancakes. I'm a big pancake lover fan. <laughs> um, what else? Where do you go to get your pancakes? Um, there are some good pancakes in Village Deli. Yes, yep. recommend that place. Uh, there's cinnamon bun, cinnamon roll pancakes. Cinnamon rolls, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Big adjustment was totally school. The language, because when you study, you don't use the language that you use while you're talking to other people. Mm -hmm. Use the academic language, not all the academic uh, terms. A rat impression. Okay. <laughs> give it. Give us your. <laughs> give us your best rat impression. Get that rebound. Snatch it. <laughs> Mandy, you got in, guys. We're press play, boy. Press play. Lex, you got to get in. That's what he says a lot. <laughs> he seems like a very vocal guy on the sidelines during games. Is is oh, yeah. is that how he is all, all the time? Yeah. During practice, when posts, maybe we don't get while we're playing up and down the court. Maybe we should have boxed out and. Maybe we don't get the ball. He, he screams, rebound! <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. That was, that was good.